Hey everybody, Logan here from Popular Woodworking Magazine. You know, as a woodworker, I'm always looking for ways to bring my love of woodworking into my house and home. And on that note, I have a hard time stomaching the thought of installing a chain link fence or a privacy fence at my place. You know, those white PVC ones, they just, I don't think they look good. But luckily we have a way that we can make our own fencing. I wanna show you that today using some tools from Lumberjack Tools. Let's take a look at a couple of the basics. So the style of fence that this is gonna be is gonna be a post and rail fence. So we're gonna have a couple of posts, we're gonna have a couple of rails that have tenons on them that fit into mortises on the posts. And these are easy to do. We're gonna concentrate on the post first. So what I have here is I have the log lock from Lumberjack Tools. This is a quick ratchet system that allows you to quickly change sizes of posts or logs that you're holding and really cinch them down. And this is a good way to hold a round object which can really be hard to do with traditional woodworking hold downs. Now to create the sharp end that we're gonna drive into the ground, we have this guy. This is a 45 degree post pointer. What I like about this is that this is milled out of solid aluminum as a lifetime warranty and it's made in the USA. And this thing is actually sized to fit in a two handed drill. So with a combination of the log lock and this guy in a drill, we can actually go ahead and sharpen the ends. Let me go ahead and get this all held down to the bench and I'll show you how. Okay, so I have my post installed into the log lock. Now these posts are readily available at a lot of lumber yards. I actually bought these at a farm and country store and they're super inexpensive. This is a five inch diameter one, which is the maximum size for this 45 degree post pointer. So now that I have this installed, it's locked down to the bench. We can go ahead and bring in our drill. Now, as I mentioned, this is a two-handed drill. I'm gonna use both hands on it. I'm just gonna make sure that the cutter is in line with this post. And then, after I put my safety glasses on, I'm gonna pull the trigger and feed it in. You're gonna have to hold on nice and tight. And feed it in until it stops cutting. Then, you can check out your work. There we go. So we got a nice taper on the end. This is gonna work extremely well, especially if you're using something like an hydraulic post driver. So we're gonna go ahead and drill the mortises after we install these into the ground. So let me go ahead and move another tool in here so we can create the tenons on the rails. So our rails here are a little bit smaller than our posts are. These are three inches. Now to create the tenons on the ends of that, we're gonna use this guy. This is gonna cut a tenon on the end that's gonna seat into a hole in our post. And we'll drill that hole a little bit later. Now this is held in the chuck of a drill that's held in this drill guide. What this drill guide is gonna do is it's gonna allow me to make a, a smooth cut in on this and keep this thing nice and centered while I'm just concentrating on feeding the drill. Now I have this post already installed in a smaller version of the log lock and everything's pretty much set up ready to go. So we're gonna cut the tens on both ends and I've set a pin in this pro cutter that's gonna go ahead and set the tenon depth. That means that we're gonna create tenons that are the same length on each end. And it'll just make it easier when we're drilling our holes once we get solved the fence. So there we go. There's one tenon down. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the rails and then we'll go ahead and install these. Well, there we go. That's a great looking fence in my opinion. Now, I don't have a post driver, uh, which is exactly what that sharpened end of these posts is perfect for. So I went ahead and dug these holes by hand. Once I got those dug, I set the first post in place. And then I went ahead and used a forcener bit to drill the starting mortises on that first post. Then I can install the rails on that end and use a level to make sure everything's laying nice and neat. And I can line up and mark the next holes in the next post. Then after drilling those, you can wiggle everything together and keep working down. Once you have everything in place, I went ahead and trimmed off the tops to whatever height you want, and it's a great looking fence. Now, just because I'm doing a post and rail style fence here, that doesn't mean that's only application of this. If you're a large farm or a business that are doing high tension wire fences or barbed wire fences, 
The 45 degree stake sharpener is perfect for creating sharpened posts that you can drive into the ground and make a whole lot of fence really quickly. You can use these exact same tools to make railings for your deck or for your stairs in your house. So if you're interested in building a fence like this or railing for your home, all the tools I used are available on LumberjackTools.com. See you guys next time.